Hey everyone and welcome to Edgar Bok Bok in Bolzac. I hope I said it correctly, a new adventure game. And so let's start with a walkthrough. You can play it with the keyboard and mouse or a controller. Good morning, beautiful. Walk. What's for breakfast? So let's grab the carrot and the egg. Magnificent. If Michelangelo had painted an egg, he would have torn his art up before such perfection. So let's go outside. The wind sharp and the sky gloomy, chick. A storm's brewing, we should get going. To work. So let's start grabbing the pumpkins. And there's one more carrot over here. We need to grab. And let's dig. Can start now, so let's use the machine here. A handy carrot, let's fire this beast up. Put it in the vaporizer. That should do the trick. Come on, precious, so we need to move. So the rabbit will start the machine. An unboreal rabbit yields power of 3 carrot. With that, it should last all day. Now we can work. And now we can dig. You see, dear, the key to a well-built squash is, above all, a love of the soil. Give me the seeds. Let's use the seeds. After, there is nothing simpler. You gently drop the seed, you water this fantastic ground. And if your heart tells you so, you can even whisper it sweet words. We're not animals. And let's water it. Now, my dearest, we wait. We wait for time to do its work, for the magic to happen. We watch the horizon with a stern eye, stout to the wind and then, deeply breathing into space and time, we will realize that we are but only one human, but only human, darling. Because you see, as time flows, we master our space, we fall into a rut and finally we forget. In short, we become old schmucks. Use your melon, quick. Be worthy of the squash. So now let's wait a bit. Crap, weather is turning nasty. Bloody hell, all but not the vaporizer. Come on, precious. We really need to take care of that before they come back. So let's you let's see the machine. I need something to fix this fast. Time's running out. I should be able to patch up the structure with some wood. So here in this shack we have some wood. Uh, let's try the oak. I don't know if it matters what we choose. Let's try some oak. You know what? Thinking about it, the one uh, the other one would be better. So we got the other one, I guess, and let's use it. That should work, but I still need something to lubricate this wheel. The fire burnt the oil. Let's get moving, they are coming back. So let's get into the house. And grab... Natural Reach in Omega-3. Ah well, that doesn't make it smell any better. But I guess it's still oil. Back off, chick. This stuff will curl your nose hairs. So we've got some oil. And let's use it on the machine. Done. Let's hope it starts. And if we use it again.
But see now. This smoke. Something's wrong. Don't tell me that it's... So let's see what's happening. The residium. It's melted. They are coming. Precious. Duck. Hmm. Retreat. We can't beat them like that. And so we can't do anything here. Let's go inside. What do you mean, Bok? Without the I I ionic vaporizer, the lionflies will guzzle all the squashes in no time. Why do, you, why do you think they are so rare around here? It's a reign of terror, Precious. A huge massacre of orchestrated by the drums of violence. Residium is the key. It's the heart of my machine, a very rare metal. Its essence alone is able to keep the lionflies away. And that's what we need. If we don't get it fast, the squash will be gone. And Precious, a world without squash, that's chaos. The Elders? Let's look at the bookcase. Hmm. Omati Grandmother, let me... Lend me your supernatural strength. Oh, old hag. I call upon your biceps. To save the squash from their gruesome fate. Teach me the strength of the earth. That I may heal this wretched land. Well, I'd love to comment on this, but despite being a bit rough, I forbid myself from being rude. And a piece of paper dropped. Oh, look at this. It was hidden behind the frame. Aha. I told you so, the old dragons didn't let us down. Ah, hope. It snuffed in the blink of an eye, precious. Some kind of phoenix, I guess. Appointment hairdresser, Tuesday 6 p.m. Crap, I think the phoenix just pegged out again, my lovely. But my troth, we will not give up. It's definitely a sign. Let's go, precious, to Bulzak. So, time to leave. Let's talk to the guy. Any bites? What does the Colander want? Uh, you look like a player. What? Betting your right teeth on the Colander? That's almost heroism. Haha, -ha. I do like you. You stink to fish? Although I have nothing against a bit of sport, I've got stuff to do. But next time, I'll bring my fishnets. By the way, do you know where I can find some Residium around here? Razi what? Residium. Well, I've never heard of your thing, but then, I've only seen being sober an hour. Give me time to cool my noodle, maybe it'll come back to me. In the meantime, you should go ask the village idiots, they will probably know more than I do. Oh yeah, and if I ever you want to bring me a drink, it usually helps. So let's go up. Inside the town. And if we got this house, we read the note. Do not knock, the cat has a key. And what was that? So you see... Come here, you little brute. So we cannot take the key. Well, I won't catch him like that. So let's leave with empty hands and let's enter the town. And let's talk to this guy. I'm looking for a zidium. It's for. Did you know that the freshwater mussel can live up to 150 years? 
you know, I don't give a monkeys, just wanted to... A muscle, 150 years, 150 years rotting in a stream. It's beyond me, honestly. What the hell could they be doing? Yeah, amazing. And so about Mariraz, there's only old Marguerite who could reach such an age. She's seen everything. She might even know one. Who knows? Well, let's talk to the kids. Hey, I'm looking for a hairdresser. It closed a long time ago, sir. We have to go to Flotron La Forette now. Ah, that's annoying. I'd like to make a good impression. And where was it before the hairdresser? A bit further along on the main road. It's a grocer's now. So, let's knock on the door bef before we proceed to the right. And again... Leave me alone. I told you I don't need to have my spoon sharpened. Let's talk to him again. Get the hell out of here. So he throws his stinky sock. We will need it later. Let's go to the right. And let's talk to the woman here. Don't look precious. That's a crime scene. That's a squashed egg. My meal. That's as sad as an empty fridge. It's starting to cook on the ground. What the heck is happening underground? I couldn't help but notice the gigantic bonfire roaring under the village. You're pretty perceptive. Yes, my precious thinks so too. Well, as you don't miss a thing, we call them Bolzac's chimneys. It's said that this fire has burned for 300 years, but no one really knows how it started. You will certainly hear a lot of rumors about it. You'll find some information on the history of Bullseye at the town hall. Personally, I think the fire is pretty useful. And give her an egg. I've got an egg if you want. Oh, well, thank you, that's lucky. My neighbor was saying the generous fox does not fear the storm. So, here's my loyalty card from the grocery store. And it's full. Well, that's nice. Okay, let's do talk to the guys here as we go into the grocers. Hi, good day, sir. Auguste Brillandor, Bolzac jeweler. Are you a new neighbor? Yes, you could say that. Tell me, you work with stones. Does residuum mean anything to you? Oh, a rare earth? Uh, no, not earth. A very rare insect repelling metal. Uh, no, I don't think so, no. But drop in and see us when you get a chance. Us? Yes, us. Do you like dogs? I will introduce you to my dog. The most beautiful dog in Bolzac, by far. Okay. Now this guy is sleeping. Let's talk to the kids. Hello. Would you happen to know where I can find some residuum by any chance? Never heard of it, but when one is looking for something that nobody knows, we usually ask Margarita. She is the elder of Bolzac. Her house is at the entrance of Bolzac. Yes, I've been there. I had some issues with her cat. The beast is not one to rat. Haha, <laughs> yes, we call him the white lightning around here. He's fast, but he's never caught anything. He's got a rock for a snows, that one, the nose of a chimney sweep. It's terrible. It's probably connected to what he eats, if you want to know. Oh yes? It corks the conch? Just thinking about it makes me dizzy. A terrible breath. I know someone takes care of him when Margarita's away. And if I knew who that person was, I'd have words with them. So, let's go into the grocery store. Let's look at this one. Good lord, what a relic. Are you alive? Me, Edgar. You? Yeah, it's very mature, that's true. Okay, let's talk to the woman. Hello, welcome to our place. What can I do for you? Somebody gave me this card. Oh, it's complete. You want a gift? Here it is, a magnificent, a magnificent monster cheese. Wow, help yourself, go on. Oh, let's take this stinky cheese. Did you know the former hairdresser? Uh, no, not really, he had to live in a hurry, but he was a bit mad, you know, almost paranoid. He said we were being watched, judged, even cursed. Me, I think he couldn't handle the country air, we're not all made for it. Okay, I see. The kind of guy to wear funny stuff, huh? And... 
uh, don't think we can do anything more here. Let's leave. Look, let's talk to this guy. Hi there, listen, at the village entrance there's this cat. Ah, you have seen the white lighting of Bolzac. Yes. Seen, seen. That's a pretty big word. Mostly I eat dust. He's so swift that he leaves only a hazy fleeting impression, a misty trail of white light. And I thought my vision was blurred. No, he's well known in the village, you know. Mr. Bone is the only one who's been able to see him close up. Maybe he could tell you more. Without a doubt, you will find him on one of Bolzak's benches. He likes watching the people passing by. And I guess this is the guy we're looking for. Mr. Bone, I need to talk to you. Sure thing, but call me John. John, the white lighting of Bolzak. Does it ring a bell? Ah, young Carlos. Yes, I know him well. Sometimes Marguerite asks me to feed him when she's away. I really need to talk to Margarita. Do you have any idea how to catch that cat? Preferably without being an Olympic medalist? Oh, it's not easy, but listen, I might be able to help you. Margarita left me clear instructions. I had to leave him a drink of something every day. He has his routine, she said, otherwise he doesn't sleep well. So, something to drink? Yes, but that's not all. I love animals, you know, so I usually add a little personal touch. Something strong that wallops the nose. That's the Jean Bon special, and he loves it. But watch out, kid. Margarita took care of her cat's education. Carlos is an aesthetic. If you approach him with a drink, you'd better do it right. Which means what? He's a bit of a snob, even for a cat. It has to be pretty, nicely presented, otherwise he won't want it. So, a pretty glass. Yes, you need to show some discernment. Very well, I see we're circling my lexical field here. So, we need to offer... some booze to the cat and so... let's go inside the, the bar, talk to the guy. Hello, what can I get, get you? Uh, let's talk about Jambon. Hey, I just spoke with this guy on the bench, Mr. Bone, John Bone. Yeah, I know the chap. I need to talk to this woman at the entrance to the village, he suggests I take a drink. Why not, it should get her going, or you know, maybe flowers? Stylish glass, the guy said I should aim for sophistication. A feast for the eyes, something refined, you know. Ah yes, that makes sense, but I haven't done refined for 15 years, my friend. 15 years, but before? Yes, it's a long time ago, I have to admit. At the time I was a fierce defender of the sacred art, the one that defies and surpasses all others. The one that even the myths barely touch on the beauty of... I'm speaking of the art... Of darts? Of the cocktail. The cocktail? The cocktail, good grief, the great alchemy, the holy grail in its truest sense. The child of a glass blower. Dionysus and the beach of golden sand. I'm talking about the perfect blend, supplanting even the nectar of the gods, the purest art. Ah, uh, right. Sometimes I miss it. Listen, I'll do it for free in memory of the good old days. But don't tell anyone, here people won't understand. What do you want in it? Nestor Menard, aka the steerer, is listening. I think I've got something. So we presented him the ingredients, the cheese and the sock. Oh hell, you're off your head, right, uh, I need something else. Just one more ingredient, the demon in the drink. So if we talk to him again, let's complain. Me, don't wanna drink? Not really. The lionflies are back, half fly, half lion, those odious bugs are ravaging my land, I need residium. Lionflies? Residium? Ah uh, yes, you've had enough to drink. All my squashes destroyed. The fatal blow. Annihilated. Yes, fate. Huh. And you know what they say, one lost, ten found. Tell me, aren't you an actor? Because Broadway is not so far. Ah uh, yes, sorry, I wasn't listening, I was thinking of something else. You see, when I shine these glasses, 
there's a boatload of memories in the reflection. Squashes? No, no, but you see before, I made twinkles in the customer's eyes. I offered happiness in a glass. Squash juice? You're starting to bore me. So we need something else. And we've got some... Water, I think. Let me check. An empty glass. I peeled her from the bar. Uh, let's... We need a bit of water. Okay. I'm sorry, we're having water supply problems again because of the damn underground fire. Third time this month, so I have only got bottled water. I'll take it. I guess in exchange of the squashes. And we have it. Let's leave. And let's go to the guy who was fishing. If you remember, he said he was thirsty. So, still going strong. I got a few pieces, but not a complete fish. You see, nothing whole. That's the problem with explosives, it scatters. But I'm pleased with his Xander's head. If you're still thirsty, I've got some water. A chivalrous deed indeed. I've got the whole Sahara in my throat and I recognize nobility when I see it. But water? Thirst is a serious matter, people can die out, can die it, you know? Ah, and yet, it is with the best water that the best whiskey is made. You are a strange fellow, aren't you? Come on, throw that crap away and we'll meet at Nestor's tonight. He'll tell me your story. And so let's talk to the guy. Ah, here's the fashion police. So you didn't come fishing in the end? Come on, let's talk fish and fishing techniques. Hey Nestor, two bolzer cups. With your tab? And what will you be paying with? Well, it turns out that I have right here a magnificent Xander head which... I'll stop you right there, I don't want any more of your rancid fish. You pay your tab and then we'll talk about Plonk. Oh, well, dead end for tonight. So... We need a drink. And let's talk to these guys. Things are going pretty well for me, but I'm worried about the last trick. Bernard could still turn the tables. What about sneaking a look at his cards? Are you in? Why not? It will shorten the game. I'm counting on you, Hawkeye. And we we'll look at his cards. And if we talk to him again... Well, I'll say... Be careful, he's got the nuts. Damn, well, it's time to go, so I fold. Not so smart, huh? I had nothing. What? Hmm. Let's talk to Bernard. You know, I thought I'd be living in my underpants, but now I've got enough to get myself a new pair. Let me buy you a drink. Nestor, a glass of red for my new friend. Okay, but there's no need to yell. There you go, champ. Your glass is on the counter. Well, let's pick up the... Glass of wine, infamous bullzaquas, and let's give it to our fisherman friend. Hey, look what I won! You know you are gifted. So that's notorious bullzaquas. Yes, that's a local wine. It's not what you'd call light, but on the plus side, you can use it to scrub the oven. But are there vine vineyards in Bolzac? Uh, no, in fact, the wine comes from the villas next door. Long ago, Bolzac was renowned for its wine, and the Bolzacquoise was famous. But that's in the past now. The people kept the name out of pride. What happened? It's an old story, some cult caused quite a lot of damage at the time, but a long time ago, I'm talking middle ages, you know. I don't know much more, but there's some info about it at the town hall. But let's talk business, okay? I'll trade you your glass for an exceptional Xander's head, almost whole, deal? Well, yes, it's my lucky day, I just ran out of Xander head. This way you... 
So we've got all those male ingredients, which means we can make that cocktail. Any news? I'm sure I've got a stellar recipe, a real nectar of the gods, like you said. Show me. No way, I'm gonna lose my license. That's unbelievable. Put that away. What's wrong with your palate, mate? Trust me, I've seen champions, but this, it's grazing Olympus. And you're gonna kill her with this, seriously, think about the flowers. No, no, the villagers are explicit, Carlos has unusual tastes. Carlos? Ah, because there are three of you? No, actually, I don't wanna know. Well, I'm going to mix this Xander head with your piece of cheese. Then I'm gonna squeeze the sock to get its juice. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Finally, I'll grate the cheese crust over the top, put in a little umbrella for style and it will be superb. Promise me you'll never buy me a drink. Sure, friend. So we have our smelly cocktail. And time to visit the cat. And we present it with absolute style and voila the door is open. She's playing video games. <laughs> ah what a surprise, a visitor. Come in, come in. I see that you managed to catch Carlos. That's quite a fit young man. It wasn't easy. Yes, this little rascal has a rather unique taste. I hope you enjoyed my little game, it keeps you sharp, huh? Look at me, Miss Bolzac, 1868, and still sharp as a knife. But enough chit chat, for the moment anyway. What can I do for you, handsome? I'm looking for something special. Yes, something rare. Yes. No one in the village seems to grasp the concept. Yes. So people suggested I speak to you that you and only you would be able to enlighten me. Yes. So here it is. Do you know what Rasidium is? No. <laughs> a metal, rare, cube shaped? Doesn't ring any bells kid and I'll be 173 years old next month. Ah, uh, but there must be some way to get my hands on the... I think it got darker. Oh. Nice lenses. Uh, ma'am? Margarita? Crap, she hasn't gone and croaked, has she? Carlos! Carlos, come here. How do we switch her back on? Uh, don't worry about it. So let's chase her. Can we take anything? No. Nope. Oh, let's follow her around. Good grief, come back! So let's see where she's going. But... Is that the sails? Everyone seems to be following her, so... Let's go on the right. Quick precious, we're going to lose her. Where she's been hiding a machine like that? Hmm. I want that. Wolfburn GTI Sport. 240 steam rabbits for just 100 kilos, which means a meteor on wheels. Perfect. Let's go inside. And here she is. Look, precious. There's a guy watching. Marguerite is gone. Let's go. Puff out your chest, I'll pull in my belly. So let's try to go inside. Bah, what's he doing there is this one? Good evening, private party. What's that monstrosity? My chicken? A monstrosity? Don't listen to him, my treasure. Club etiquette is clear. Absolutely no entry to poultry. 
A club. Oh, that's annoying. Can we negotiate? Maybe I can find you a Zanderhead. I know some people. Absolutely no entry. So let's try to leave. We're dealing with a lunatic precious. Get in there and not a sound. So we stuffed her into our inventory. And let's go and talk to him again. You're back again. What are you doing here? I don't really know. I was following Margarita. She's got two headlamps instead of eyes. And much as I'm not a warrior, well... Yes, the eyes. That's normal. Wait a minute. Don't you have a pendant? Oh, you know, I'm a bit of an anti-conformist. I live on the edge. Outside the consumer society which betrays human and social values, my grandmother told me... Yeah, great, but you are not from the village? I live alone in the forest. Ah, alright. I didn't realize you were a bum. Sorry, thingy. Move along. So, he won't let us get in. Jean-Marc, I've got a guy without a pendant lurking here. Code 3. Hey, but... Hello, Control? Yeah, I think he's a drunk. What do I do with him? Is it the other maniac who's been blowing up the lake all day? Ah, the fish guy. Ah, Leon. I know him, yes. He's a friend. Control? Yes, apparently he's a mate of his. Okay, no, he doesn't look dangerous. Standard procedure, yes. Right, listen, thinking. Get out of here now. I'm working. So we have to find a way to get inside. Let's enter this warehouse and pick up the glasses. Recyclable plastic goggles. They're making me big eyes. And let's leave... Oh, a lamp fly. I have always loved their bright colors. Let's leave to the other screen. And there's another one. That gives me an idea. I don't have the emerald green eyes of Margarita, but we're getting close. Yeah, we need a better light. One more. Let's try again. That's almost it. We're making progress. Let's see. Precious, meet the Bolzac Lighthouse. Yep. I think we're good to go. What, another one? You lost, huh? Go on in. Get to work. Okay, let's see. What part is this? So, we're inside what seems to be a factory. And we will investigate it in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you very soon.